move them the full moon. We enter the battle for power over Earth. We will fight and lay down our lives until the end. Answers will be revealed. Victory will be sealed. And so it begins. Yes, that's right, we're playing Haunted House 5, The Eclipse. So there's a lot of 5 games coming out lately, and this is another one. This is going to be the beta for the game. This is not a relatively new beta, but it's something that I've had a several people ask me about. And it's Elven Games, and I'm a huge fan of Elven Games. And from what I understand, they didn't actually make the original Haunted House uh, games in the series. So, I don't know much about the background, I never played any of the earlier games. Then I guess we'll just dive in and see how well this goes. Several years ago, I met a remarkable man named James. A common name to be sure. But this particular James is quite unique. A detective, a courageous man, a noble mentor, and my friend. Together we have cracked dozens of cases, and he never ever ceases to amaze me. We certainly make quite a team. Hello, old friend. We have a new case to crack. This one's at a hotel. Sounds exciting. All of the details are in the letter I sent. All right, so we'll go ahead and lock the... Ta the... I was going to say task bar, but inventory bar. There we go. Okay, let's find out what these two are all about. You made it. Good thing, too. This one sounds tough. Something really strange is going on around here. This girl is a witness, but she's too scared to talk. And I don't want to leave her alone. Could you go find me a medical bag? Sure, why not? Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip the interactive help. And can I talk to her? Nope. What happened here? It must be this girl who called for James. So yeah, this is just the beta. This is a demo preview. Uh, really, it's a sense. Uh, it's for me to get a sense of whether or not I might want to buy this game when it comes out, and whether or not I want to record it. And ultimately, to give all of you folks a chance to uh, see it while it's still in development, and maybe make your own choices around whether or not you might want to play it when it does come out. So let's go ahead and get cracking here. We already have hidden object scene. Oh, look at this bat. Wow, that is definitely a pretty looking bat. Alright, let's do it. What would fit into that slot? Hmm, good question. Some hangers. There's a card. Oh, put that there. Seahorse, go. What would fit into that slot? Nothing. So glasses, a pipe, and a handkerchief. Handkerchief? Handkerchief. Pipe and a purse. I'm assuming it's a pipe you smoke, right? Right. There's our purse. Oh, which dagger? What are we daggering here? There we go, get around there. In there, and we'll just go ahead and hit the last one. There we go. Medical bag. Oh, that's going to be handy. I've got our achievement already. There you go, buddy. Well, she's happy now. That's a good thing. Looks like we got to get rid of these vines. That's not creepy at all. Oop. Oops, the lantern placed well, but now I need to light it. Yikes. You're safe now, my dear. Now, can you tell us what happened? 
Did you notice anything unusual? Please, try to remember. You probably won't believe me, but I'll tell you anyway. The guests here are all... monsters. And they're having some kind of battle or something. I know it sounds crazy, but I swear it's the truth. Hmm, curiouser by the moment. Do you happen to have a key to the hotel? We'd love to take a look around. Oh, sure. Here's the key to the front door. But I'm getting out of here. I won't stay in this crazy place a second longer. I'll examine the hotel exterior after I make sure the young lady gets away from here safely. Why don't you head inside and take a look around? Sure, put me into danger. Great idea. Love your plan. Take whatever that is. I'll have to dissolve the lock completely. An aspen branch? Those trees don't even grow here. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, well, should we go into the creepy hotel that has monsters in it? I don't know. We'll check out the map here. Oh, that's kind of a nice map. No current task. I do like when they do that. They kind of show uh, current task, no current task. It's, it's okay. It's good. Oh. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? You've broken the rules of battle this time! <laughs> Victors are judged, and losers aren't remembered! Oh, you'll pay for this! like a man, but it looks like a woman. That's not an argument, it's a battle! I must understand what's going on. Shouldn't I run for my life? I don't know. I kinda feel like I shouldn't be just hanging around here, waiting for something bad to happen. So I can't get out there. Well... Oh, what's this all about? Congratulations! Um, vampire... What is this? Oh, a painting. Huh. That's interesting. Special paintings, I guess with monsters in them? It's time to show these guards how to wield a scythe. Hmm. My journal! The casually the casual passerby wouldn't even notice an aspen branch lying on the ground. But aspen trees don't grow here, so someone must have brought the branch from somewhere else. But why? Why? I don't know why. So now what do I do? Don't really have a lot of options here. This is a saw handle, which is cool. And a token, which I don't know what that would be for. Oh, look, there's the saw right there. Thank you. No, I'm not sure what we're cutting here. Well, will this work here on the vines? Hmm. You'd think it might. Let's board it up. Oh, wow, okay, that actually did work. Cool. Amazing! It definitely looks like the battlefield. Who fought this time? I don't know. Lots of things everywhere. Scratches and all sorts of good stuff. But we have a screwdriver early, which makes me smile. The clock has stopped and nothing keeps me from starting it up again. Screwdriver, go! Uh-oh. Well, at least we got some screws out of that. Have to find the right parts or the mechanism will not work. Werewolf. Oh, okay. Interesting. I guess I should just click paintings of people. I'm not sure what other collectibles are in here, but we'll figure that out eventually. 
We're only going to play for 20-30 minutes just to get a sense of the game. What I'm really curious about is for those of you that have played any of the earlier haunted hotels, how does Elephant Games uh, version, how does it measure up? So it looks like we're going to need a handle there, okay. Yeah, I'm really curious how well it handles, or how it measures up to the previous developer. I think the previous developer was Special Bit Studios, I think, or Studio or something like that. And like I said, I never played any of the earlier ones, but I'd be curious to know your thoughts, for those of you that have. Alright, well let's find out how this hint system works. Use the screwdriver to get parts from the bird sitting on the chest of drawers. Okay, so it's a big bullseye right there. I think I would have liked that to have been like a different color to maybe stand out a bit more, but eh, that's just nitpicking. Now what are we looking for? Do I screw it back? Sure looks like it. Look, there's a screw there. Unless we're missing something else. Hmm. Something else needs to be undone, apparently. There it is, there. We're gonna get a... Oh, okay, nope. I was gonna say, we're gonna get a wing. Is that enough? Sure it is. I kinda like it when they make you actually do the... assembly of that, it's pretty cool. Oh, that's a lovely door to the vampire's room. Oh my, this is a murder scene! Someone's been staked. Well, it's a pretty butterfly in there. Legends say this is how to kill a vampire. Is that what happened here? I don't know. Okay, we'll take the duster. How do we get this out of here? Something's missing from its... Whoa! Cutscene. <laughs> Hi there! Well, things are even worse here than I thought. It appears we've got a cold-blooded murderer on our hands. Is he supposed to be kind of like a Sherlock Holmes fellow? Based on the cause of death, the victim appears to be a vampire. Here, I found this while searching the hotel. Maybe we should split up so we can cover more ground. But I won't go far. Thanks. Copper skull. It's not easy to break a sword, especially a silver one. What's it doing in the vampire's room? Good question. Dust is covering that up. Looks like we need a code here. Ooh, I'll take that though. That's... Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Acid. Does this a skull go here? Yep. Okay, looks like we need to get the scythe here to attack the monsters. Yeah, I'm sure the guests were afraid of the light coming through. Alright, let's go back out. Find out what's in here. Just pour it on there, don't worry about it splashing too much. Ooh, I'll take the bat and what's this? A sheet of paper. <laughs> okay. What is this? Twilight Brothers coat of arms. I think that must go here, right? Yep. So I need one more. Was that actually his ring? Yeah, it looks like it was. I'll take that dagger. Not sure what I need a dagger for. Hmm. It's all scratched up here. Well, we still need to figure out how we're gonna get this open. We need handles, apparently. Which is no surprise. Do we dagger it? No. Oh, the mirrors here. That's kind of creepy. All right, let's see what our map tells us to do. Looks like we have a current task out here. Probably for the vines. Yeah. 
do some gardening. Ooh, there's the other. They call it uh, coat of arms. There's nothing where his eye should be. <laughs> All right, let's find out what's in here. Oh, it's our first puzzle. Let's find out the information. First, remove the obstacles keeping the actors from getting to the hotel. Press the marked zones and choose an object that will help. Second, put the puzzle pieces back together to complete the hotel picture. Um, wow, this is crazy. Huh. Water there. Honey there. I don't even know what this is. We need a bridge here. Um, no, it's probably... I don't even know what would go here. Dynamite, maybe? Go! Yay! It's the happy face! Oh, wait, that's the sun. Ooh, we get to do it again? Or is it just a one-time show? Oh, now we have to build the, the hotel. Oh, no. Oh, and these are all movable, too. Well, at least they snap into p position. Uh... This is kind of a crazy puzzle. Okay, so that looks like that goes there. Mm. Hmm. That's got to be part of the roof as well. Let, let's go there. Where are all the bits to go here? color in this hotel is kind of off. It's got a variety of... Well, I guess it's a little on, but it's a little off as well. There we go. Completely by accident. So, what do we have here? That's good. How tall is this hotel? Good question. Apparently it's tall. is it is indeed oh yeah we can definitely feel it going up there oh wow I know I'm actually seeing the silhouette I didn't see it a split second ago that's way helpful inside you go Ooh, I'll take that that will let me get in here I want to get the scythe at least before we stop the demo let's see if we can do that Aw, oh, it's a pretty butterfly. Oh, and it looks like I'm a female. Or a man with very feminine hands. One or the other. Beautiful creature as well as helpful. Now I've got a personal source of fire. Ooh. Can we put paper in there? Hmm. Okay, so I guess I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see what we have here. Current task is in here. Why would I need fire in here? Oh, there we go. For the candle. Do I get to keep the pretty butterfly? Please, please. Yay! Cool. I have my own candle. Can we fast travel? Let's see. Yes, we can. Excellent. I'll take that, I'll take that, and it calls for a rune of some kind, which I do not have. Is this actually a door handle? Yes, it is. How is that not the right thing? Oh, I need two door handles. Fine, fine, be that way. Oh, I thought it was this one. Ha! Huh. Two more to go. Hmm. What else can I set on fire? 
I don't know. I'm not sure if the butterfly will help me there. Yes, it will! Wow, it is so sparkly and pretty. I think we need to name this one. Oh, look, it's called Flutterfly. I was about to say we need to name it Fluffy. And you know what? We can. We call it Fluffy the Flutterfly. Now, where was that thing? Was that just basically in here? Yep. The code is nearby. Looks like it's there on the dust. Wipe that off. Three, one, seven. It's funny how it counts down, that's strange. Fine. Ooh, we have this, we have this. The card seems to be protected by a magical spell. Hm. I still want the Skype. We're almost there. One more to go. Hopefully it's in this cabinet over here that we're about to fix. I am finding the... Uh, I'm not sure if you call these puzzles, but... finding them quite uh, logical, if that makes any sense. Another hidden object scene. Yay! Hmm. Nice pretty watch. Well, there's what I need. Excellent. We're gonna have a battle royale. Picky big. Classic. Looks like we need another flower. And a bracelet and a mask. I guess that's not the mask. A mask and a bracelet. There we go. Finally. Let's go. Care of business right there. Come here, magical Skype. Come here. Wonderful. You've always been the clever one, you know. I feel clever. And now the scythe is ours. All right, it's up to you. I'll be waiting for you in the hall. Yes, the sea is silent, but I still like to say Skype. Reminds me of Skype. Hi there. There you go. Oh wow, I've got pretty good reach. Now that we've taken care of the ghosts, we can investigate the second floor. Cool. Let's go. I was there. <laughs> Not too creepy at all. Don't be deceived by this empty hallway. There's a secret passage around here somewhere. A lamp with multicolored smoke will help us find it. Here, this yellow elixir should make your search easier. A yellow elixir. I like the sound of that already. The outline on the wall suggests swords were hung here. Huh. We have to fix this mirror, aren't we? Whoa! Yeah, that's what I figured. I feel bad about having to cut the canvas. Oh, sorry. This old painting is... Taking one for the team. Ooh, I'll take that key. Clock key. Whoa, Baron. Hmm. Interesting. Three of them. How many are there? Wow. So it looks like we've got even one big one in the middle. Fifteen. Oh, I like how they morph their faces. That is cool. So I guess that's the morphing objects, is it? Definitely looks like a doorway there. So we have a clock key. Open up, please. Take this, take this. And we have another card with magic. Blood elixir, green elixir. This isn't creepy at all. Nope. There's definitely something going on in here. But I don't know where I'm supposed to splash this stuff. Hmm. Swords were there at one point. 
How am I supposed to fix this mirror? What is this? Oil can. Oh, maybe that's for our friend here. There we go. He's looking a little rusty. Door handle! No, that's not it there. It was this one that needed it. Ooh, and we have our screw screws again. And our screwdriver. Cool, I got to use that screwdriver. What, three times now? Four times? It's cool. Alright, let's go to the werewolf room. Wow, they like live right side by side. Whoa, this is creepy. Light it up, please. Another murder. <laughs> is that enough swords? Good grief. That is an awful lot of swords. What savagery? How many swords does it take to kill a werewolf? Apparently enough. Book token. Hmm. Looks like we have to pour these in here. We're missing a blue one. Looks like a gin's bottle. Or a genie bottle. We're just going to make up some fancy elixir. But we need blue. What the heck's going on here? Art class? There's a spot for a little book shape token. Information, please. Oh yeah, we are painting. I'll pick up the brush and use it in to use it to color the parts of the picture. Use the symbols as a color key. What symbols? Oh, there you go. Um triangle. Red. Okay, so we only have to do it once. That's cool. Blue. Yellow for the sun. Oh, and one more. Skin. Peach. I like his blue eyes. How am I not done? Um. Oh! This guy's pants are different. There we go. The greatest thing that can happen to a kid is to find a really good friend. I was lucky to meet Richard. We went on many adventures together, always knowing we had each other's back. Uh-oh, I'm guessing this went terribly wrong. Sun is setting. Um... Okay, however... Life sent Richard and me down different paths until finally the day came and we had to choose sides and we chose differently. One is a vampire, one is a werewolf. That would be my prediction. No. Oh. Nice blue sky. Dark blue. Ooh, red. Our friendship was cast aside, and Richard and I grew to be terrible enemies. The die had been cast, both of us would do anything to win and make the other guy a lose. Hey, there's a rune for something. If I can just remember what it was for, we'd be all set. Nice chest over here, too. Nails are driven deep into the boards. Alright, we're going to need a nail puller. You know how much I like my nail pullers. So where did the R need to go? Back out here, I think. Was it in here? Yep. Blue! That's the blue we need. Okay, let's go. To the werewolf room. I like that sound. Pop. When you mix these colors, what do you get? Purple? Black? What is this? Every color. Magic lamp. Another magic card. How many is that? Three, four of them so far? Alright, let's find out what we have to do here. 
Um, please? I don't know what the magic thing is for. Oh, I'm definitely supposed to be here. Hmm. I'm supposed to just do this? Nope. Creepy or what? There you go, buddy. It's like a rainbow. Aha! We knew it! To the office. Oh boy, what's, who's this lady here? Now I feel terrible. I'll have to pick the lock. What do we have here? Something thin, like a dagger. Thank you, and one of those again that we can't get into. Who is this lady here? Yeah, indeed, several parts are missing. So I guess we're done here. Let's go back. Whoa, okay. Good. We didn't have to do much more than that. That one can't fly. What's the medallion for? Hmm. Let's find out what's in here. File? Okay. That's the picture. Oh, we're back here. Maybe we can file something off here. Nope. Ooh, we have a dagger. Something was sharpened here, and judging by the size of the wood shavings, it was not a pencil. It was totally a stake. Ooh. Ah, we need those! I have no water. Huh. Okay. How do I get water? Oil can, sheet of paper. Okay, tell me what to do, hint. Really? The tuning fork? Huh. Okay, well that's actually super handy for the butterfly. I was only expecting it to be able to like light things up. I didn't expect it to be able to carry anything. Of course, I don't know what we need a tuning fork for, our but maybe to break the ice. Yay! Who's this lady? I want to know. She might be able to think clearly away from this room. I'll get her settled in a safe place. You should stay and look around. There must be a key to the secret room here somewhere. Alright, well that's a good place for us to stop for now. Thank you for watching Haunted, Ho Haunted Hotel 5 Eclipse. Let me know what you think. Let me know how it compares to the other Haunted Hotels. Uh, I know the previous games were made by a different developer, and this one was made by Elephant Games. Personally, this feels like an Elephant game to me. It's well polished. I like the puzzles. I like the story. It's well written. So um, it's, it's kind of what I would come to expect from an Elephant game. But for those of you that have perhaps played some of the earlier haunted hotels, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.